I'm going to give a quick uh, demonstration of the operation of a Fuji Go 2. And uh, first thing we'll do is turn the key on here. And we'll, that will get us to the screen up here. It starts windows and everything else. This is a emergency off button. You push down on here, turn it clockwise to shut everything down in the system. You have to turn it counterclockwise and let it release back up. This is an emergency release button for the drive to enable you to push it if it's locked up for any reason. I'm going to turn this camera sideways so you can see a little better. When we first come up here, we're going to hit the registration button up here on the top left. And that's where we put in the patient information. And we're going to do that now. There's a few things that uh, have to be put in, date of birth, etc. And then we, when we finish that, we're going to push the next button. Okay, and that brings us to our technique. So we're going to pick one hand, and you'll see the hand come up on here. We'll go back down here to the right and hit Start Study. And that will bring us up to this screen, and you can see we've highlighted the hand there. At this point, I'm going to go over and take an x-ray. I've set up the x-ray here, just over the cassette with a hand phantom on there. So I go over here, grab the button here, and I push it down. You will notice that light on the top of the column comes on and goes off. You know you took an x-ray. So we are just going to grab the cassette. We want the barcode on here. Sorry about that. Where am I now? Barcode on the uh, the cassette to be down. So we put it into the machine this way. Barcode down. And that's it, basically. Now we're just going to wait for it to scan. And your image will come up. We put in the hand there. And pause this as the hand's coming up. Cassettes are generally stored down in this drawer here. That is again the button that we're going to push for the x-ray. X-ray just normal like any other one. Software on here is the same as any Fuji CR. At this point this is generally meant to uh, send to a PAX at this point which would be set up with the network to automatically send over there. So here we have, uh, have our image. You just finished scanning and there we go. We can hit down here on the QA button. Normally this will be done on the PAX. And if we wanted to say zoom on the image, use any of these other tools, we have those available. And that is basically it. We take the cassette out, it's automatically erased, we can use it on the next shot. Thank you.